Oh, hello. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I gotta go back to the farm. But not for a little while. It's o'clock right now, so I got some time. Eat what was left of the blueberries. Where did I have them? Um, I don't think I ever told you guys this. It's not really a secret, it's just that I never thought to say anything about it. But I used to be a member of the band Men Without Hats. Remember Men Without Hats? Well, I used to be part of that. I don't know what happened, though. One day I was just happily on stage singing When You Come From The Land Down Under or whatever. I think, that, I think we sung that. Uh, well, I don't know. Anyway. Just singing away on stage with my buddies there in the band Men Without Hats. And then, you know, we made quite a bit of money singing, too. We did all right. One day I was passing by a hat shop, and that money was just burning a hole in my pocket, you know. And I thought, you know, I'm going to go in there and take a look around. Well, to make a long story short, I know it's too late, but still, listen, listen, I'm telling you a story here. I go in, I take a look around. And I buy this thing. This thing right here, I buy it. Next day, they fire me. I don't understand it. Hmm. Anyway, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. I do feel badly, though. I come to rehearsal. Wanted to show off my brand new hat. And my bandmates and the band men without hats fired me. I don't understand it. I asked them why, and they told me it should be obvious, but it wasn't. I don't know. Anyway, enough of that. Um, it's a beautiful day here at Camp Crazy. I like to tell stories. Some of them are true. <laughs> the preceding story really isn't true, but it's kind of fun anyway. Don't know why they fired me. No idea why the band men without hats would fire me. All right. We'll talk later.